tonight after allegations of racism and bullying in the Cromwell School District. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Sinney. And hi everyone, I'm Erin Connolly. The issues came to a head after an online post went viral. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski is live in Cromwell tonight after speaking with the school superintendent. Eliza. Well, Mark, Aaron, this post has certainly gained a lot of attention tonight. The superintendent addressed the post and how the district has handled it. Now, something I did want to clear up is who or if anyone was held accountable and what the district is doing to prevent future racism and bullying in the, f in the future. A week ago, a Cromwell High School student posted this on Reddit, alleging racism, bullying, and harassment in the schools. Instances of food and pencils thrown at them, all because of the color of their skin. We would not be honest if we said that we did not have racial issues in Cromwell in schools. Mm -hmm. Superintendent Enza Macri says the district is not turning a blind eye, despite the accusations in the Reddit post. Bullying is unacceptable. Racism is unacceptable. Any situation that is brought to the administration is fully investigated and addressed. However, many still question if Cromwell will hold anyone accountable. We needed to conclude an investigation, which got bigger and bigger as we began. Was anyone held accountable? Um, yes, and that's all I can say. At Tuesday's Board of Education meeting, State Representative Matt Lesser described how his meeting went with the victims. Heartbreaking, uh, infuriating, uh, and uh, uh, really unacceptable. The district is hiring a diversity, equity, and inclusion consultant, but many think more can be done, like a consistent community update from the superintendent and meetings with the students. Make sure that we are listening to students and we're listening to community members um, and to continue to listen, that this shouldn't be a one-off. While some spoke about their own experiences with racism in Cromwell schools. Because my family has not felt safe living in Cromwell, I have removed my son from the district and he will now be attending on full scholarship a private school uh, because that was the genius that was in him that wasn't recognized by Cromwell School. I have reached out to the students involved in this post, and I am waiting to hear back. Reporting live in Cromwell tonight, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Eliza